Everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today we're going to be doing instant mashed potatoes and these are killer mashed potatoes. They taste amazing. So it's a, it's a very simple recipe that I came up with um, on my own and I've gotten a lot of lot of reviews on it um, and I've had um, a really good friend of mine suggest to me like hundreds of times to make this over and over again. So Vahida Shivji, this is for you. So here we go. I have about four tablespoons of um, unsalted butter in a bowl. And about It's about half a stick if you're using the sticks and it's unsalted. Now if you wanted to use salted, go ahead. I just got some unsalted butter at a really, really good price. So I've got a bunch of it in the house. So anyways, so I melted that just a little bit into, um, actually I didn't even melt it. I just left it out and it's really, really hot outside right now. So it just melted. So if you want, you can stick it in the um, microwave if you like. So I've got that. Let's go through the ingredients first. So we're gonna do the um, four tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're gonna do Hungry Jack, or we're gonna do mashed potatoes. It can be, excuse me, it can be any brand. I'm not in any ways uh, promoting this brand, but I just happen to have these in the house. So any flakes, potato flakes will do. So again, I want to make sure that you, uh, I'm not making these from real potatoes. I make another uh, potatoes uh, that I use, but this is for people who want instant, something really quick, no time, busy. So this is for um, you guys out there. We're going to use some lemon pepper. Um, we're going to be using some good mozzarella cheese. You can use any brand again. I've got some cheddar cheese and some mozzarella cheese and I've got some sour cream here and you can buy the fat free or light sour cream if you like. And then we're gonna be um, using salt in there too. So let's get started. Oh, and I have um, my kettle here that's the, just finished boiling. It's just got water in it. Now I usually don't measure, but, um, and I'll show you the, uh, the consistency that we will require. So, um, First, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my potato flakes in there, and I'm gonna guesstimate. Um, we're gonna do about two cups. Okay, so that's our two cups. Okay, now to this, I'm going to go ahead and add my water. I don't use milk, I use water. And I would say for two cups of the potato flakes, you wanna do about three cups of water. Now, if you like your mashed potatoes to be really, really um, um, thick, then use uh, less water. But we like, we don't like our mashed potatoes really, really thick. So I'm just gonna thin it up just a little bit more because as it sits, it's gonna thicken up again. So. Okay. Okay, so there's our mashed potatoes in there. And we're still gonna see, if it thickens up even more, I'm gonna add more water in there, so we'll have to see. So to this, we're gonna go and season it, go ahead and season it with some salt. Totally optional is our lemon pepper. Otherwise, you can even squeeze some fresh lime and zest the lime and put that in there too. We're gonna go ahead and add our sour cream in there and for about every cup, you want to do about a good heap, uh, heaped tablespoon of sour cream. Okay, 
Okay, now, this is the consistency that we like our mashed potatoes, but everybody is different. If you want to get thicker mashed potatoes, then I would say, you know, add a little bit more flakes in there um, when you're doing it and mix up. Get the consistency that you like um, so that you don't have to add more flakes in there. It's okay to add the water in there, but when you add the flakes in there, um, when you're eating it, you will see sometimes that the flakes will kind of clump and sit in, um, hide in other spots of the uh, mashed potatoes. And when you're eating it, you'll get this really um, icky taste in your mouth. So I would say it's better to have it thin, um, not thinned out as much and have it thicken and then add the water in there. Now, if you want to add milk, you can. You can add whipping cream in there too, and they're going to be even more killer mashed potatoes. But um, I do that very once in a while um, with the whipping cream. It turns out really, really good, but it can be death detrimental to your health. So uh, I have some. Just want to finish this little packet I have here, and then we're going to add more. And cheese is really up to you how much you want to add cheese in there. If you guys like a lot of cheese, add a lot of cheese on there. What I usually do is I add the um, a little bit of cheese um, inside and then I just mix it and then once I plate it I will add more cheese on top and when I'm ready to serve it I'm just gonna warm it up in the microwave and, uh, or sprinkle it with more cheese um, either of the cheeses or both of the cheeses and then um, put it in the microwave or oven to warm it up now we're going to do a taste test because Again, you don't want to serve something that you haven't tasted. And the taste has to be really, really good. It has to not be under, um, under seasoned. Um, because the last thing you want is to put something um, on the table. And if the taste is not there, if it's under seasoned, if it doesn't have enough salt, you know, the first impression, you know, you're just not going to get people to like the food. So always make sure that you try your food and see that you, um, it, and adjust it towards your palate. Mm. Just the way we like it. Just got enough salt in there and the lemon pepper has given that sour tart. Um, and the cheese is, once I put it in the microwave when it's ready to serve, it's gonna get all ooey gooey in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plate it. And I'm gonna show you how I usually serve up my mashed potatoes. Very simple, nothing fancy about it. Um, and these go really, really good with my roasted, whole roasted um, tandoori chicken that's actually in the oven right now and you can peek at it. So make sure you watch this video. That's the tandoori chicken that's cooking in there. So it goes really well with this chicken. So make sure that you watch the video for the whole tandoori chicken. And we're gonna go ahead and just put it in a dish or a pie plate. So these potatoes are actually really good for, um, if you don't add the cheese in there, if you can get some lactose free cheese or something. But this would be great for people who have like, um, who can't take too much dairy. They can take, you know, you don't have to use the uh, cheese in there. But like I said, I know you can get like the dairy free or the gluten free um, cheese. And uh, I know that you can even get the sour cream nowadays that's dairy free. So um, you know now that you can make mashed potatoes using water, you don't have to use uh, milk. And the other thing you can also do is instead of water, you can use either um, chicken stock or um, you can use vegetable stock and um, just makes it really very much more tasty. So, so I'm just gonna plate it just like that. Nothing fancy. Okay. To this, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of sour cream on top. And this is completely optional.
Usually I never have leftover mashed potatoes in the fridge. Lastly, we're just going to add some cheddar cheese on it. And you can add as little or as much as you like, it's all up to how much cheese you like. And I love mozzarella too, just because it melts and gets really nice and stringy. So there you have it. Mash, instant mashed potatoes with a kick. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope I see you here next time with another great recipe. See you then, friends.